Hello friends out there, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. Today I am showing you a travel slideshow in After Effects. This tutorial can be fitted if you have clients that has a passion to travel everywheres and or everywheres. If they ask you to make a slideshow, this might be a perfect opportunity for you to serve them. So I am actually very honored to share this with you. Go to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it text one. The width is 1500 pixels, the height is 250. Click OK, zoom it a bit, grab the text tool, and type travel beach hammer. I will align it by Clicking the horizontal and vertical center, expand this text layer and animate it. Animate the position, opacity, blur. Make this Y position to about 80, opacity 0%, and the blur probably 70. Open the rain selector one, go to advance, open it. Change the shape here to ramp up and make the ease high 100%. Change the randomize order on. Move your playhead at the beginning of your timeline. Create a keyframe here but change this first to negative 100 and then create a keyframe. Go to about 2 seconds and make this 100. Highlight this two keyframe. Easy is it by pressing F9 in your keyboard. Change the graph here like this. Close it. Create a new composition and I will change this to 1920 to 1080p and I will name it Fog. And I will click OK. And I will go to my assets. Open footage and drop this six ground fog rolling also this stock footage in here highlight these two open the blending mode and make it add i will go to composition create a new composition and i will name it animation one i will go to my project and drop down the frame one on my timeline press s on my keyboard to scale it down and make it 50 percent Highlight my frame, go to the shape tool and create a mask like this. I think that's good enough. I will go to layer, create new shape layer. And I will grab again the shape tool. I will create a bit of a shape in here. I want it with fill and stroke. Move this layer at the bottom. I highlight the layers, center it horizontally and vertically. I will close it and I will highlight the frame and pick up the frame to the shape layer. Then I will go to the project and drop the fog, highlight it, go to effects and preset, color correction, hue and saturation. I will check the colorize and change the colorize hue to 209. I will go back to project and drop down the text one. Press P for the position and Shift S for the scale. First, I will drag this text down. Make it scale down a bit. Highlight the text and go to layer, layer styles. I want to put drop shadow on it. Open the drop shadow and change the color to blue. Click OK. I want the opacity 100%. 
and the size probably six we'll close again highlight all these layers make it a 3d layer press p on your keyboard for the position and highlight the fog change the z position to this much i just want to make it two view horizontal i want it far shift s to scale it up and also i want the shape layer right here and then i will shift s scale it up to about this much and i want the text also to be highlighted and i will move it forward and then i will move it up press s to scale it scale it down a bit move it on the right side close it and i will also drag the airplane down on my timeline i will highlight it and make it 3d2 and i will press p for the position i want it also at the back most especially at the back of the frame and then press s to scale it up close it and i will change it to one view only zoom it change this to half resolution and i will try to play it So as you can see that the, the shape here is at the front of the plane. All you have to do is to open the plane and move the shape layer at the bottom. We will play again this one. Let's see. So now we need to animate the frame one. In order to do that, we have to highlight the shape layer. Press R and shift t for the position and go my player forward to about 115 seconds and create a keyframe on the position and on orientation i will change the z on the orientation to about 355 move backwards my playhead and i want to change the orientation to about 20 and also i will move my image down and move forward my playhead to about 3 seconds and I will change the orientation to about 0 I think it's perfect so now I'm gonna close this one. Go to layer. I want to create a new camera. I just want to use 35mm camera. Then go back to layer and create a null object. I want this null object a 3D layer and parent the camera to the null layer. I will open the position on the null object. So now we will animate the null object press r and shift p before animating the null object i will go back to my shape layer press u and highlight all the keyframes press f9 to easy is it make the graph like this so we will play this again As you can see that the background that we have doesn't fit on our composition so to solve this problem all we have to do is to first close this shape layer go to the fog highlight it press s to scale it up that's good enough so i'll have to close it again we have to start animating our null object so here make a keyframe on the position and orientation and then move backwards to the beginning of your timeline and change this orientation to about 30 degrees and then move the x position and then move forward your player to about five seconds create a keyframe 
and move your blade again for about one second rotate again this and then move again the exclusion for this way and highlight these three layers in here move it forward to about one second and press your keyboard open bracket key then I will highlight all these keyframes and press F9 to ease it change the graph like this let's check it out by playing it perfect so now i'm gonna close this one go to composition create a new composition and i will name it final animation click ok and then drop down your animation one i will go to the project and i will create a new folder and I will name it scene 1 and then I will highlight these compositions and drag it to the scene 1 folder also the text one and the animations I will highlight these two compositions drag it down to my scene 1 I will close this assets folder again I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2 I will open the scene one and highlight all the compositions duplicated and I will drag it down to my scene two and close the scene one folder first I will clean up this one and I will double click it delete this placeholder one I will arrange this first I want the placeholder to be the first one here the animations 2 will be here and then frame 2 the plane will be here and then i will open the placeholder 2 and i will close this one and go to my assets folder i will delete this footage open my folder assets go to clips and i will drop this number 2 footage in my timeline and open the frames i think this is good so i will just delete this one open the scene to folder press my keyboard out and hold i will highlight this placeholder one drag this placeholder two to replace the placeholder one i will also highlight this frame and highlight this frame to here to replace the frame two to replace the frame one i will also highlight this brush and i will replace it with this brush too i purposely want to change everything here so that it will be independent to the other scenes so i am rest assured that in the future when i tweak these compositions in here it is independent and it will not affect the other scenes that i made so i will close this brush because i'm not tweaking it up this plane too i don't tweak it this fog i don't tweak it too all i have to do is to open this airplane move my playhead click r on my plane too to rotate it i will rotate the plane too in here i think that should be good enough click p on the position too i'll just drag it down a bit on the left side we have a nice animation so this is just an example it doesn't really as in perfectly match with the original video that i have but they are just the same procedures so we're good to go open the text to double click this one and change the text i want to change it to summer escapade so i'll open the animation too press alt on my keyboard and hold it you replace the text one here by the text two replace the frame one to your frame two also replace the airplanes one by airplanes two 
the fog you can change it too if you want to just to be sure that it's independent if we will scrub our playhead you will see there's a changes here so now i will go to my composition create a new composition and i will name it final animation i will just change this duration because we have only two so probably 16 seconds and i will click ok and then i will drag down the animation one i will close this first the assets folder i will close it too and i will open the scene one and i will drag down the animation one and also the animation two i will highlight these two i will move this here highlight the animation one go to effects and preset go to transition and cc image wipe i will go back to animation two move this to the end of my timeline and also i will go to project and open this animation one click u on my keyboard and move these keyframes in here at the end of my timeline and i will go back to final animation close this one here and probably i will go in here and i will make the completion to about zero and i will move at the end of the composition probably at eight seconds make the completion 100 and then highlight this one press open bracket key go to transition and cc image wipe i want this to be 100 create a keyframe move about one second at 15 frames create a keyframe put this one to about zero move my playhead to 15 seconds i will change this one to 100 then move forward to about one second press u and then move back and make this 100 really as you can see here that it is sharp so all i have to do is to change the softness to about this much open the gradient and change the blur bit to make it softer and also this one here change the border softness to 100 open the gradient and increase the blurriness be reminded that i have changed this here i changed this to zero percent okay open my assets folder i will close this scene too i will go to the image and photo tap down the photo in between the two layers shrink it like this and i will also drop down another photo and i will again shrink this one i will highlight this layer press s on my keyboard and solo this one so i can see fill it down and then i will move forward my playhead and solo this one and i will solo this image here press s to scale it down and solo it again and let's check it out nice Our tutorial is done and i hope that you gain some techniques on how to do it and don't forget to support me by subscribing and clicking the notification bell in order for you guys to be updated to the videos that i'm gonna be uploading hit like if you like it and comment down below if you want to and my thoughts for today guys is that we have ample time to think and create what we want so guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. God bless.